Okay, excited today. Unboxing of the Zeiss ZX1. I know some of you are saying, wait a minute, the last video he said you start trying to prevent gas by when you're getting one camera system. But I'm actually going to Tokyo in a couple of weeks and I was thinking I should get a nice point and shoot camera to take with me on the days I don't do um, the photo shoots uh, with the models there. And I've been wanting this camera for the longest time and I know price is turning off a lot of people. Um, but I was able to have B&H price match it um, with the price from Adorama on Amazon. And this is some B&H solar eclipse. Okay, some brochures. And here it is, box is a little dirty. It is used, but nine plus condition. And yeah, going back to gas, I was like, man, I know I said I'm not going to purchase another camera system, just stick with the SO2S. Um, but I've been eyeing this camera for almost a year and I'm like, okay, I better get it before um, they stop selling this. Uh, box looks really beat up. It says used, used stock. Not too sure what that means, but let's just uh, open it from the side. And my plan is if I don't like it, when I take this with me on vacation to Tokyo, then I'll just sell it. Okay, so this is the outer box. CX-1, looks really nice. Outer box, you stock, shoot, edit, share. Inner box looks okay. It says used, of course, on it. Opening it up. Oh, very nice. I like the way it opens up, just like that. This side, you have the charger. USB-C charger to the camera. And you have the adapter, European, I believe. And here is supposed to be the batteries probably inside and not too sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, oh, probably the cable. So here's the cable here, USB-C cable. This side, you have the Peak Design strap. Very nice, is the X1, looks new. And you have the um, metal lens hood and the camera itself. First time holding this camera. It feels actually lighter than I expected. Cap. It is a nine plus condition, looks like new. Battery is already inside. So let's turn this on. I believe or flick it down. Or is it up? Maybe hold it up. And looks like battery is dead. Let's put the uh, lens hood on. Not too sure how to do that exactly. Oh, I think because it has the, the lens ring here in the bottom. I think I'm supposed to pop out this lens ring. I'm able to put the lens hood on. I think so. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I didn't want to break it. So basically you slide it in, I think it locks, and then you counterclockwise turn it and it comes out. And that's when you're able to put on the lens hood just like that. So let me charge the battery and then come back here and we'll boot it up. Okay, so this charged up to maybe over 30%. 
you have to plug it in USB-C to the adapter and the switch is kind of cool you just have to flick it so you flick it like that and it turns on and it's asking me to set region so this has been I guess totally reset and then you flick it I guess up to turn off I don't know if you have to hold it down uh, region I don't think there's any Guam here oh there is Guam okay next time zone we are plus 10 same as uh, Sydney Australia and let's see if we can see that date it is March 11 pin lock active uh, to protect, protect your camera a screen lock is available um, please set a pin I don't know if I want to set a pin it may be a hassle I think this is the first time I actually have to agree when setting up a camera usually we don't read it right data protection okay next register, register camera um, I'll register the camera later point so that I complete intro video Now look through the viewfinder. Oh, that's nice. Ready. Start camera. Camera error, rebooting. That is not good. I do not know why. Maybe it's the first time. I felt some vibrations. I did email Zeiss earlier asking them just in case if the firmware is not up to date, if they can email me a new firmware. They said all cameras sold now have the latest firmware. Okay, so it's in JPEG right now. single shot then you just move your thumb like this right okay I see auto white balance just like that and then if you want to change it you move it out oh then you have to press the three dots and then you move it like that okay got it exposure I like multi very simple easy to use then you swipe down. Oh, it's at 60 some percent. That's pretty quick. Maybe somebody else left their photos here. Okay, nothing here. Okay. Swipe up. No notifications. Pretty interesting. What is this? Duration screen to appear here. Okay. Just to let you know, every time I press a button, there's a small vibration, kind of like a haptic feedback, which is pretty cool. I guess because I'm not connected to the internet. Yep, no connection. Maybe press the shutter button. Yeah, shutter button. Shutter button brings me back. Settings, you swipe up. Okay, still shooting. File format. Raw plus JPEG, helpers. Video quality. It does 4K, 30. Flicker reduction, over 60. 
Oops, going back to settings. Shutter button to go back. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of this. Wi-Fi, which I'll connect later. Social media account, Facebook, email, shoot to internal storage using five gigs out of 512. A new account. Oops. There we go. So I figured out you gotta tap here and then move up. Okay. Dropbox Flickr, OneDrive. Function button you can choose a four. Screen rotation, display brightness, brightness 40%. Oh well, yeah, they can go bright. Screen lock none, timeouts. Standby one minute. Sounds, touch vibration. Copyright notice, creator, that's when you can enter your name. Pad is small. Good. Language, the end time. About camera. Serial number 3000. 59%. IP address available. Uptime. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's the uptime of the camera. Clear device cache. Reset to factory settings. Uh, let's see. Firmware. 1.2.1, uh, very outdated, 2020. So I'm gonna see if I can update it later on. I need to connect to the network. Firmware updates. We are gonna check. No new update, so I may have to manually download the new update. So this is kind of cool. You flick up to go into video mode, like I'm doing now. This is video mode. Flick up again to go into photo mode. You flick down, which is here. It goes into standby. Flick down again. It turns on really quickly. And then to turn off the camera, you got to flick down and hold it. So you flick down and you hold it, then it shuts off. But if you want to turn on the camera, you need to flick up and hold it and it'll turn on. So right now it's still booting, booting, not as booting up. So right now it's still shutting down. Then it turn on, so it flick up and then now it's turning on. Right, good morning, I just woke up and went to DHL office. Round two, b &H sent the replacement super quick. Shipped off Wednesday morning Guam time and it arrived Saturday morning Guam time. So that's pretty, pretty fast. Bigger box this time than the last time. Okay, let me put the knife away. I just hope it comes with the strap and everything else. Okay, good, a lot of packing material that I could use. Okay. This box looks to be in much better condition. Than the other box. Yeah, much better condition. Okay, let's see if I can open this nicely. It's 
Don't want to damage the box. There you go. It actually comes off pretty easily. Um, the sleeve comes off easy. Okay. Coming apart here, but it's okay. So this one does have the accordion brochure that I saw in other YouTube videos, which is interesting. Don't mind Haley in the background. Good, strap is here. Really nice strap by Peak Design. This is a limited edition one that's all black. And it says ZX1 right here. And then there's this one. Oh, so this one does have the anchors, which is not on it yet. And the one for the middle of the camera. And on this side, good. Looks like it's complete. Everything is complete. Yes, Haley, hold on. Almost doing this round two, almost done doing this round two unboxing. Everything looks complete, better than the nine plus condition. And this is only nine condition. Um, of course, let me dust it all. Thank you, Haley. To me, it looks pretty good. And I'm surprised that this nine condition actually has a complete set in the box. Even right here is the um, safety information. So I'm gonna fire this up, update it to 3.2, and take this to Toko with me. And actually, it may be good that I returned the older one <clears throat> that didn't have uh, the accordion brochure and uh, this box that has the anchors and I guess for the middle here, uh, because this is more complete, even with the um, little pouch that has the USB adapter to USB-C. Let me take this out real quick. USB-C to regular USB adapter. The other one didn't have it, so uh, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I got a replacement from B&H for this. All right, thank you. Just wanna comment on the nice packaging of this Zeiss box really quick. So this is the top part where the brochure is, and it is actually magnetic here in the bottom where when you slide on top, see how that just automatically goes and sticks? Very nice. And then inside, this is where you find the um, anchors. And it shows you where you're, how you can mount it even at the bottom. Pretty dusty. And it feels like a lot of these are magnetic as well. Yeah, these, this is like magnetic doors. So the ZX1 is charging right now. And here you have the safety information in different languages. But I'm sure you put it like this just so you can see the um, the eye symbol there. Really nice packaging. Closing is coming out here, but closing the box. It's coming out here as well. Or maybe just tape, I gotta get rid of, but it's nice, really nice.